hello and welcome back to another tutorial so in today's tutorial i will be showing you how to sew a native trouser a shokoto trouser so this trouser will have a drawstring a rope at the waist so we will not be needing the waist measurements for this tutorial and also there will be no dart added to this trouser and also no flap added to the trouser so if this is your first time checking out any of my videos you're highly welcome please subscribe if you're yet to subscribe and also give this video a thumbs up so i have folded my fabric into two to cut out the front part of the trouser i folded according to the length of the trouser i'm making and according to um half of my thigh measurement so i have ruled out a line which acts as waistline from that line i'm taking 11.5 inches as the crotch length so i'm not removing anything from the crotch length i'm adding it as it is and from my waistline to 25 inches is the length of the knee the knee length and i'm also noting that then i'm going to measure from the waistline to 40.5 inches which is the length of the trouser the pants i'm making then i'm adding also extra allowance for hemming I mean the pants so i'm going to repeat this measurements i'm going to repeat this measurements and at another point and then rule across them to make them into lines as you can see me do so like i said earlier i also folded using my thigh measurements my thigh measurements i'm working with is 26 inches so i have 14 inches on fold that i added extra one inch allowance so as you can see at the side i ruled out a line and that line the measurement of that line is three quarter inch that is the allowance i want to add to the side so from that line i'm going to measure out quarter of my hip measurement which is 11 inches so i've measured that on the crotch line and i'm also measuring that on the waistline so on the waistline i also added what i have on the crotch line and i'm joining them together i'm ruling and joining them together then also on the crotch line i'm going to be imputing half of my thigh measurement which is 13 inches so i have imputed that as you can see so i'll go ahead and curve out the crotch like you see me do i'm curving out the crotch um, extension so now starting from where i started taking my measurements the three quarter inch line i'm going to check what i have on my crotch i will divide that into two so the measurement i have there is 13 inches i divided that into two so i'll put half of that i would measure from that um line i have i'll measure six and a half inches which is half of 13 inches and i'll put that on my knee length and on my ankle length so i've done that so so what i will do now will be to divide my knee circumference into four and what i have i would impute that to either side of the line i made at the center so from that line i would measure what i have my um, knee circumference is 19 inches so when i divide by for what i have i would add that on either side i'll also repeat that for my ankle circumference I, my ankle circumference is 13 inches so i divided that by four and what i have i would impute on either side of this line the center line that six and a half inches line i made so that the trouser will be at the center and not at one side so using my pant cover i'll connect from the measurement i have on the crotch to the measurement i have on the knee then at the side because i already have half um quarter inch three quarter inch allowance on the crotch so i'm going to add from the measurement i have towards the side i'm going to measure three quarter inch adding the same allowance as what i have on the crotch line so i would place my pant curve and connect from the crotch uh, measurement to the three quarter inch i added now to the um, knee measurements so from the allowance on the crotch i connected to the allowance on the knee line i'll also add three quarter inch allowance to the side for the ankle and i'm connecting from the knee line to the ankle line and i'm also connecting what i have on the other side as you can see so this is it for the measurements for the front i would go ahead and cut out the front part 
also take note that um after the waistline you can see another line up i added half inch joining allowance so that i can be able to join a band to the pants so and this is what the front part looks like so i'll go ahead and fold my fabric for the back and the back is two inches up i have two inches more than what i have on the front part and also for the width i have over five inches on what i have so the crotch part i'll divide the hip into two the 11 inches into two from that half i'm measuring again another 11 inches towards the fabric for the back part and this will be the crotch extension for the back part so i would then rule a line from the crotch of the front to to that point i have where i measured the 11 inches the new hip line so i connected in a slanted manner as you can see okay and that is the crotch extension for the the back so i'll go ahead and add one and a half inches joining allowance to the back part as you see me do i'm measuring out one and a half inches all through and also towards um the knee um line down to the ankle i'll add one and a half inches joining allowance so i'm adding this one and a half inches joining allowance because i've already added allowance to the side in the front part when i was cutting so I'll go ahead and connect these points I've made. I would also make out the um, rule out the crotch extension for the for the back, and then I would connect the same way I did. I'll use a pant cuff to connect from the crotch to the knee the knee line, and then I'll use a straight ruler to connect from the knee line down to the ankle measurement to the length of the trouser. so at the top parts remember i said i added extra two inches up that is for the butt rise at the back so from um the crotch side i'm connecting from that two inches i added down to the measurement on the side to the waist down as you see me do okay so at the side at the side everything will be the same with the front so i'll go ahead and cut out i'll cut out the back parts please as you're watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you're yet to subscribe to my channel please do so and also click on the notification bell so that you can be notified every time i upload a new video so i have cut out the back i'm folding the back towards the front to make sure that the, at the crotch points that they match so they did not match i'm trimming off and making sure that the two crotch meet at the same point as you see me do so at the top part i'm going to reduce the crotch length of the front i'm reducing it by quarter and uh, three quarter inch so i'm coming down from the top by three quarter inch for only the front crotch i'm reducing the length of the crotch so from that crotch part i'm going to connect back to the side of the waist I'm connecting and I'm stopping before that allowance I added. So I'm just connecting towards the side exactly at the allowance line. So I'm not extending towards my allowance. So I'll go ahead and cut out this part. So the crotch in front is reduced by three quarter inch. So I've trimmed that out and this is what I have for both the front part of the pants and the back part of the pants so this is what it looks like so i would go ahead and cut out the band so i'll be attaching a band and i have a band with unfold it is unfold i have a width of two inches and the length is as long as what i have at the waist region for the trouser I would also cut out a pocket. I will be adding an inner pocket to this trouser. So I folded my fabric into four, two for each side of the pocket. So I've measured eight inches as you see and eight inches on top and I'm connecting and making a curve for my pocket. So you just make a curve that would be um, big enough for the hand to enter into okay that's what i've done make sure your hand can enter into the pocket so i'll go ahead and cut out my pocket
so now i'm done cutting out all the pieces so we'll go to joining i would join the crotch the front crotch i would join using three quarter inch i would join and i would stop three quarter inch before the end okay as i'm marking out i'll do the same for the back crotch i would join and stop three quarter inch before the end of the crotch i'll do that and show you so i've joined them together i ironed open the seams i have so and I've pinned the sides of the trouser, the front and the back together. I've pinned down to the hem of the trouser, to the length of the trouser. So from the top, I'm measuring one and a half inches. So that is where my pocket. Remember, I cut out pockets for this. So I'm going to notch that point I measured. That is where my pocket will start. I'm going to notch it so that it, it will reflect on both sides, the front and the back. So I've notched it. I'm going to bring my uh, pocket piece and then attach them to each side. So I'm going to pick one with the right side facing the right side of the pants. I'm going to pin down starting from that notch I made, the one and a half inches notch I made. I'll pin this part as you can see me do. I'll pin as shown and then I would re re I would do the same for the other part, the corresponding part of the pocket, right side facing each other. I'm also pinning. So what I do to this side of the pocket that I'm uh, of the pants I'm showing how I attach the pocket, I'll also do the same thing for the other side. I'll do that for the other side as well. So after sewing like this, I'm going to top stitch towards the pocket side, the fabric for the pocket. I'll do that and show you. So I've attached both pockets on both sides of the trouser. You can see I also top stitch as I said. So what I'll do now will be to sew using three quarter inch. I will sew the pocket side using half inch and down three quarter inch and close up the sides. I'll do the same for the other side as well. So as you can see, I've joined them by the sides. I've sewn the two sides together. So the next thing now I'll do will be to sew the inseam. So I'll join the fr the front, um, one part of the front and one part of the back. I'll join them using three quarter inches. I'll do the same for the other leg. I'll also hem the ankle. I'll hem the ankle um, parts. So I've done that. I've joined them as you can see. Okay, I have a little opening, the points that we didn't sew complete before. So I have a little part open. So I'm going to turn it and show you. You can see where my finger is sticking out from. Okay. You can see my finger sticking out. So I'm going to hold them um, from one crotch for the from the front crotch to the back crotch. I would so close that point. I would so close the point. So now I'll go ahead and attach my band. So um, you, I'll watch closely how I attach the band. So I'm attaching from the front side of the pants, from the front part. So I'm placing a little bit. I have a little bit before the center front. So I'm going to sew all round. So when I get to the other point before I sew, close the bands together. So I'll do that and show you. So I've sewn together. As you can see, I've sewn okay so when i got to the front point to sew close i just sewed a little bit up as you can see i sewed up half inch and then i left three quarter inch and then sew the remaining part of the band okay that's how i sewed so that i have a place to pass my row from and i also top stitch around the point i left open okay so what i'll do next now will be to fold in the remaining parts the other side of the part of the band i would use it to close up um the stitch i've made so i'm going to top stitch as you see me do the way we normally do our bands so i'm going to top stitch all round so after top stitching i will then use a safety pin to pass my rope through the opening i have so for the rope i have a width of one and a half inches and i would fold as you see me do i fold into two and then into two again and then sew just as i'm demonstrating that's how i'll sew the rope 
So I've done all that. The trouser is ready. I've I've passed my drawstring, my rope through. I use the safety pin to attach it at one point and then pass it and bring it out from the same um opening and i've also you can see the pockets and this is what the trouser looks like so thank you for watching please give this video a thumbs up share with your friends and subscribe if you're yet to subscribe to my channel till my next video bye